As always in Sailing Doodles, we're sailing with some beautiful ladies. This time we're taking you to the British Virgin Islands and the spectacular rock formation known as the Baths. The girls have fun getting wet and then we raise the sails and head to Sabre Rock on Virgin Gorda. There we feed some absolutely huge tarpon and dance the night away with 50 of our closest friends. Already getting up a move this morning. Uh, so, unfortunately, or fortunately, it depends on how you look at it, they started doing uh, mooring reservations down here in the British Virgin Islands. Uh, and it's expensive. They used to be 30 bucks a night, then 40. Now they're $55 a night to reserve a mooring. And they only reserve them the same day at starting at 7 a.m. Well, I clicked on at 7001, right? And uh, by the time I went through the little app and got to the ball, they were all, one. that one was taken, and then by the time I reloaded the app, they're all gone. So uh, we're gonna get moving early today because they do have first come, first serve balls, but we wanna make sure we get one. Plan for the day, uh, we are gonna go over here to the baths. Uh, check those out, they're world famous, really beautiful spots, check that out. And then have lunch, or actually, actually have breakfast on the mooring ball in front of the baths, then go to the baths and then do that and then head over to Virgin Gorda, maybe do lunch somewhere or head over to Sabre Rock, I don't know. But that's the plan for the day, let's get going. Crew is doing good off the mooring, time to go. I'd say it's really easy with moorings like that, I mean you just let the lines go and you're on your way. It was only a couple miles to the baths and directly into the wind, so we just motored. The crew was prepped and ready to go to catch the mooring. The proper way to hook up to the mooring is to use two lines, each through the eyelet and back to its own pontoon. More boats from our flotilla arrived about the same time we did. In this video series in the BVI, we're leading eight boats in a flotilla, all from Navigar Yachting. So we have about 50 people all sailing with us. It's a lot of fun. It's so fun, in fact, everybody's asking to do another one. We've already scheduled the next flotilla. It's in Greece, August 5th through the 12th. So if you'd like to come sailing with us in Greece, I'm leading the flotilla. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, there's a link down below to the sign up page where you can reserve your own boat. You better hurry though, there's only a couple boats left. We, we, we set aside eight boats, there's only a couple left. If you can't fill up your own boat, uh, there's also a Facebook group I linked down there too as well where you can find crew members that uh, you know will uh, pay for the extra cabins in your boat. Or if you're interested in sailing down here in the BBI, you can go to Navigar Yachting and charter one of their boats. They have a fleet of hundreds of boats all around the world in 10 or 12 different bases. And if you use code DOODLE, you'll get $200 off your first booking with Navigar. Or if you're interested, they also have a yacht ownership program where you can purchase a boat, put it in their charter fleet, and earn guaranteed revenue on it. Be sure you tell them you saw it on Sailing Doodles. One of the most iconic spots in all of the British Virgin Islands are the baths. The baths are a natural rock formation where giant boulders are piled up next to each other creating caves filled with water or baths. The clear aqua water makes a spectacular contrast against the rocks and is a must see if you're visiting the BBI. The water is deep off the coast and there's about two dozen day use moorings that fill up fast so I'd recommend getting there early. You can either swim in from your boat or take your dinghy to the swim line, tie it up, and swim in from there. 
We were using my new underwater housing for my Sony A7S III camera, so the audio is just a bit distorted. It's only cold for a second. You can swim in or pull yourself to shore using the floating swim line. You can normally enter the baths right near the waterline, but unfortunately there was a cruise ship in town and so they make it one-way traffic. You have to walk all the way up the hill to the parking lot and around. Not only are the rock formations beautiful, but the beaches are fantastic. There's a trail through the baths aided by steps and ropes. I've been here like half a dozen times now. I've never seen it this busy, unfortunately. It's, I mean, there's, I've never had to wait like every junction like this kind of sucks. Our timing wasn't great with the cruise ship, but it was still a pretty spectacular spot. And I like. <laughs> fun getting off the main trail and exploring the more remote baths. The wind wasn't too strong, so we put the mainsail up while still on the mooring. Okay, cool. Okay. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. Couldn't ask for better conditions to sail. 15 knots of breeze and sunny skies. My life got really scattered. You couldn't keep the door shut. And now the frost bites creeping in. So right over there, that is Sir Richard Branson's private island, Necker Island. Uh, Virgin Gorda, this whole area was, this was really hardly hit by the hurricane uh, Irma in 2017. Like it's all gone. All this, his place was gone. Apparently he had like a zoo, all that stuff was gone, all his animals. Who is the guy? But Richard Branson owned the Virgin everything. Yeah, that's okay. him. Oh, 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 yes, the, uh, the planes and yes. the cell phones. Yeah, there you go. Bryce is fanboying a little because he's read all his books. 
He's like, he's right there. I wonder if that's him kite surfing out there right now. It's legit a kite surfer there with the boat training it. I think that's Richard Brand. As we turned into the protected bay at Virgin Gorda, we lowered the sails and motored to the mooring field. Even though it had turned a little overcast, the girls were anxious to get in the water. We're all, we're all sharing one noodle. Where are we going? How's it going, Sabrina? We have a rope because the current is a little aggressive. I have no control. I got you. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we kicking? <laughs> we caught a mooring in front of one of my favorite places in Virgin Gorda, Saba Rock. The tiny island was completely destroyed in Hurricane Irma in 2017. They've rebuilt and I'd say they've done a great job. There's a pretty large mooring field that can probably accommodate more than 100 boats. Another place that was completely destroyed by the hurricane and then rebuilt is the Bitter End Yacht Club. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to visit the Yacht Club, but it's looking in pretty good shape and I'm anxious to visit it next time. The last of our flotilla boats arrived and we were ready to go ashore. All right, so we got a boat. Our boats are all spread out over here. There's the Bitterin Yacht Club. Last time we were here, they were not open. Saber Rock is over here, uh, but they have tarpon feeding right now. So we're gonna go see that. You guys like the big giant tarpon, they'll jump out of the water. We're gonna do that, have a happy hour, and then go to dinner. You guys ready? So ready. Yes. yes. All right, let's do this. Do it. After the She's hair. She's getting hair <laughs> Just to just <dispense. laughs> Two hours, please. <laughs> Saber Rock was a great place to gather with the whole flotilla for happy hour. Of course, you can't miss the five o'clock tarpon feeding. Right on time, it started pouring down rain. When the rain ended, we were back at it. It's really interesting how the tarpon can see the fish chunks flying through the air and chase it down just like a dog. Most of the flotilla crews came in for drinks and to eat at the restaurant. If it was fun at the bar, things got crazy back on the boats.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Yep, and thank you to our patrons and channel members for making this channel possible. We couldn't do it without you. And right now, everybody that joins Patreon uh, at the deckhand level or upgrades to that level, it's just $3, we will send you a personalized welcome video. Yep, so our patrons have already uh, received some welcome videos, so yep. become we, a patron and yep. you'll get one from us. We call you out by name and everything, tell you an insight what we're doing. So thank you guys, head over to patreon.com slash sailing doodles and we'll send you a uh, personalized welcome video.